Nosfai ta pau a croiso i colleg goir abatawe. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Gower College Swansea. My name is Nikki Neal, and I'm the, the curriculum, the director of curriculum and quality at Gower College. If you have any questions along the way, then please pop them into the question and answer uh, box and we pick them up um, at the end. You'll find the question and answer box at the top of your screen and if you just hover over it, you'll actually see which one that you need to put the questions in. You are welcome to ask questions in Welsh or in English uh, and we will do our best to answer those in, in the same language. Captions are, are available in both languages and to do this, you need to turn on your captions and subtitles uh, on in your video controls and then to change the caption language, select settings, captions and subtitles and choose the language you want. So hopefully you'll be able to find out how to do that if you wish to um, have this either with some English subtitles or if you actually want it in Welsh. As you're aware, the COVID situation is constantly changing and while it looks like things are going to start to open up, we felt that it was important at this stage in the year to move our open evening online. We are hopeful that if things keep going in the same direction that we that we'll be able to hold our March open evenings face to face. Uh, so you'll be able to come into the Floynabrin campus, see our wonderful facilities and meet our staff. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that. So in the meantime, just watch our social media and press uh, nearer the time so you'll know whether you whether that is going to be a possibility. If we've learned anything from the challenges uh, over the past two years, it is the importance of education. We understand that choosing what you want to study and, and where you want to study is a major decision. And we really hope that your the, this evening, uh, virtual open evening, will actually help you in that decision. Studying at a large college can provide significant benefit in terms of choice. We have over 40 A-level subjects and 40 vocational subjects um, for you to choose at all ranges and all levels. This means that we have a course for everyone and that there is greater opportunities for you to progress um, and your education journey with us. Indeed, we've had learners start with us at a level one course and actually finish their education, uh, leaving us with a foundation degree. So all is possible. We are very proud of our reputation as an excellent college and that provides that provides outstanding teaching and learning experiences. The learners sit at the heart of everything we do and we are constantly working to enrich and enhance those, those experiences. We have a huge range of support services and wellbeing programmes available, particularly in these challenging times, and my colleague will shortly tell you more about them. If you haven't seen the virtual experience on our website yet, then one of my colleagues will be adding the URL to the chat. That means that the, there will be a link that you can click to actually get to those chat rooms. This experience contains text based chat rooms. So that means again that you put in your question that you have and the staff will answer them uh, subject specific questions and queries about support live uh, while you're in that chat room. These rooms are now open and they'll be open till half past seven this evening. So take some time to have a look through our courses, ask some questions and see how we can help you progress on your learner journey. We are also open for applications. Um, if you um, want to apply, then head along to our website, which is gcs.ac.uk and you'll find the how to apply uh, tab or you can search for applications uh, in the actual box and you can actually make uh, an application tonight if you so wish, uh, having um, gone into the chat rooms and speak, spoken to staff. Our applications are open um, now and they will remain open right through uh, until September, but we would encourage you, obviously, the earlier um, uh, you make the application, the earlier you can come in for um, an interview, and the earlier you'll know whether you've been successful in getting a place. So that's sort of it from me. Um, I think we, I'm going to look to see if there's any um, questions. I haven't seen any uh, questions come in yet. Oh, there is one. So this is a question. How is college different from school? Do you have the same support? So 
college is different from school, but actually perhaps in, in hopefully in positive ways. Um, you will have a personal tutor, so that support will be in place. If you've had support in school, um, in class support, if you've attended additional sessions, if you've had extra time for exams, then that support will definitely continue. You just need to highlight the sort of support you had um, in school to us on your application form so that we can then um, support you. A little bit later on, Hayley Thomas, who's the Dean of Faculty and looks after the support areas, will be giving you a lot more information about the range of supports that we have available. So we definitely will be supporting you um, and also outside of classroom, outside of your lessons, you can even go into the libraries um, because they've even got drop-in uh, sessions for you to, to support you. So college is, is different from school, there's no uniform. Um, there is um, a, a, you know, a sort of, um, you get to be, to be treated as an adult. Um, you call your lecturers by their first name, it's not sir, it's, you know, you call, you'd call me Nikki, and you, you'd call uh, um, all, all the other lecturers by their first name. So it becomes a really nice familiar approach, and it's a very supportive environment in, in Cloyna Brim because it's a small campus, everybody feels like a bit of a family. Um, so that's a really positive um, atmosphere in which to learn. Um, how, when you need to apply, I would say as soon as you know which course you want to do. And remember, you can make a number of applications. You don't just, if you, you're still worrying about, oh, I'm not sure if it's this course or that course, apply for them both. Have those interviews, talk to the staff, and then you can decide which course is actually best for you. So we'd encourage you to get those applications in so you can get those interviews. I've got one here saying that my daughter is undecided what to do next. What's the best step for her? That's always the, the, the difficult one, isn't it? I would suggest the way forward here is to start to think of what your daughter really likes to do, excuse me, <coughs> her favourite subjects, things that she really is interested in. And then again, make those applications or go into the chat rooms to start asking questions about the course, make the application, come into interviews and talk to staff and make multiple applications. We don't mind about that, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, it's, it, what we want to do is give you the best um, range of advice and support and guidance so that you make that right choice or your daughter makes that right choice. And also, even if you've made that application and you start on a course very early in September and you think it's the wrong one, when we've got the flexibility to help you move around and find something else. So it's never too late to change your mind and, and to uh, rethink. But actually coming to meet the staff um, uh, at in, uh, at interview will give you a lot of information or maybe in our hopefully in March in our open evenings as well. So what happens if I apply and don't like the course? OK, so there's a, quite a number of things that you'll be doing before you actually start. Um, so you um, you'd get an interview first. You'd have a, an opportunity to just talk about the course to the member of staff. So you apply, you get an interview. So that's the first checking point to see if this course sounds like it's suitable for you and something you'd want to do. You then would get, uh, you would then be enrolled and you'd start your course. And in that first couple of weeks, <coughs> if the course isn't what you want, then we would, um, You'd work with your personal tutor to explore other options uh, and then we would we could transfer you then if the places are available for you to be able to um, see if there's other options that you actually would like. So we've got so many courses at so many levels. Um, I think we, we try and guarantee that we will find a course that is suitable for you to help you progress uh, and to achieve what you want to achieve. So as long as you work with us and you work hard and get your work in, then we can help and support you. OK, I don't think there's any more questions for me. Oh, there's one just popped up now. Is there a college bus to the campus? And if not, is there a bus pass to, for public transport? Yes, bus passes for public transport is the way that we work for our uh, Shiny Brink campus. And again, that all that information can be uh, will be shared with you once you um, are successful and you've applied and been offered a place. Do you have form lessons like school? No, you don't have form lessons. Um, we don't sort of operate in that way, but you will have a tutor group. So you will have a, have a personal tutor that you'll meet with at least once a week. Uh, they may teach you, they probably would in Clonebrin, they'll be your teacher as well. So they'll be your point of contact to help you if you get um, 
you need any problems or, or any support. We've also got a huge linear um, services department that can help you with a range of things. And as I said, Hayley Thomas will be telling you more about that later on so you can hear um, what she's got to say about how we can support you. As there's no more questions, I'm going to pass on to my colleague, Kieran Goff, who's who's going to tell you more about the life in Shona Bryn campus, what that means, what that what we offer. Um, and you can ask him questions uh, uh, about uh, that and the courses. Um, so thank you for listening. Uh, I'll pass you over to Kieran. Good evening and welcome. My name is Kieran Kyo and I am the Learning Area Manager for the Cloynebrin campus. I am here to give you a brief overview of the campus, including the courses, facilities and most importantly, what students enjoy about studying here. If you have any questions along the way, please pop them into the Q&A box and we'll pick them up at the end. Kloina Brain is known as our creative campus, where we offer a range of courses in art and design, fashion and textiles, music performance and photography across many different levels. The campus is a really nice size with a very welcoming atmosphere, which allows students to quickly develop friendships and where diversity is both accepted and nurtured. For those of you that don't know, Kloina Brain is located in the Uplands area of Swansea, which is within easy walking distance of the city centre. It truly is a fantastic campus built in the 19th century Victorian era and has some amazing character. We've obviously added a few modern touches along the way and have excellent modern facilities such as bespoke art and design classrooms for subjects such as fine art, graphics, ceramics, fashion and textiles and printmaking. We have two photogra photography studios and a dark room, a range of Apple, Mac and PC suites, music recording studios, stage performance space, music practice rooms, exhibition space, and of course, we have a very modern library. However, our greatest resource is our staff outstanding practitioners with a wealth of both teaching and industry experience. This is reflected in our results, which are sector leading. Furthermore, we've recently had some amazing success in the Wales Skills competitions, where seven of our students won gold in the music, art and fashion categories. It's a combination of both the campus and the staff that our students love most about studying in Kleine Bryn. Our excellent facilities and encouraging, supportive staff allow our learners to be creative and excel in a subject they are very passionate about. We have outstanding progression rates, whether it's internal from level one to level three or external with progression onto university or into employment. Some typical examples of careers that our visual arts learners progress into are advertising, animation, game design, graphics, fashion, film, fine art, photography, product design, and sculpting. In terms of music performance, a number of our students go into production, sound engineering, events management, journalism careers. We offer outstanding student support. As Nikki mentioned, all of our students are allocated a personal tutor, much like the form tutors you have in school. They will be your first point of contact for you if you have any problems. They are here to support you with your transition from school and deal with any issues you may have when you come to college. I let Hayley Thomas, who's on next, to talk more about our very comprehensive student support offer in a bit more detail. OK, let's have a look at the questions. OK, so when do I need to apply? As soon as possible. You can apply via the college website and, and you can do that now. OK, our application system is open. Uh, next question. Um, I'm not sure if, if that's been answered already. Um, is food and drink available on site? Yes, uh, in Kleiner Brin, we have a cafe called Cafe Brin, very comprehensive uh, food offering, whether it's uh, for meat eaters, vegetarians and vegans, wide array of food ranging from curries uh, to standard British type cuisine, uh, breakfast, 
uh, lunch, hot food, cold food, coffee, tea, range of different types of drinks as well. Um, do you have access to the facilities at any time? Yes, within our opening hours. So from on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we're open from nine to five. And students are welcome to use the facilities, even if they're off timetable. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, we're open from nine to nine. So open for 12 hours because we have evening classes. And of course, as long as students are supervised, they're more than welcome to use the facilities. Obviously, um, if you have any subject specific questions, make sure you log into the chat rooms where our subject specialist staff are available to answer any uh, subject related questions. Are there places to go in between lessons? Yes, there are. So as I said, we have a cafe brain with a large seating area for students. We also have a common room and uh, we have a couple of different social spaces, both indoors and outdoors. We have a lovely lawned area, um, which has uh, lots of different picnic benches with art murals painted onto them by art and design students, uh, more of which you can see on, on the visual arts section of the college website. Next question, which course will be best to take if I'm trying to build a portfolio for a tattoo apprenticeship? I would recommend our foundation diploma in art and design. A number of learners who've progressed from that course have gone on to set up their own tattoo studios. So by all means, log into the chat room to speak to one of the lecturers who teaches on our foundation art and design diploma course. Again, in, uh, so next question is, my son is keen to apply for photography, but not sure what level any advice. Um, well, that will very much depend on, on their GCSE results um, from school. So we currently offer a level two and level three photography course. So depending on the results, um, they'll be able to apply for either a level two or level three. But by all means, log into, into our, our chat room for any further subject specific questions. Do you supply any equipment that may, may be needed for the course? So essentially our courses have a studio fee which ranges between 50 to 75 pounds. Outside of that we provide all the materials and resources you will need to be successful on your course. Okay whether it's uh, loaning you a high spec digital camera are, are providing you with necessary arts materials. So at this point, I'm going to hand over to our Dean of Faculty, Hayley Thomas, who's going to speak to you about our very comprehensive student support offer. Dial Pau, bye for now. Hi everyone, um, my name is Hayley Thomas. I am a Dean of Faculty at Gower College Swansea, and I'm I'm really, really pleased to say that I also look after and work with a very experienced learning support team. So this evening I'm going to talk to you about some of the support that's available at the college, a little bit about life at the college and what it's like to be a student um, with us in, in Gower College, OK? So as Nikki and Kieran said before me, if you have any questions along the way, please pop them in the Q&A box and we will pick up at the end, OK? So um, obviously we realise there is much more to learners than just their academic studies. And our Flynnabrin campus in particular is a really wonderful, unique environment. It's very, very nurturing, as both Kieran and Nikki said before me, and it really is a family, lovely, um, grown up atmosphere. So it's the perfect place young people um, in particular to start their journey into a career okay i want to talk to you a little bit about the dedicated staff um, i'm going to provide you with some of that information if you've got further questions as i said please pop them on but i am going to cover these um in in, in a little bit of detail okay so first of all i'd like to talk to you about our admissions department um, and that is that they are the people who process your application when you apply to us. And don't forget, applications are now live and open. They can organize 
of interviews for you. Uh, an interview with us at the college is very much a two way thing. It's about advice and guidance. You can ask us questions and we will ask you questions as well and try to support you on placing you onto the perfect course for you. OK, and as Nikki said earlier, you can apply for more than one course and talk to us about a variety uh, of options that are available to you. So that's our admissions department. Um, we have a funding department as well, because when you start in college, you're go going to want to know how do I get to how do I get to college? Um, how do I um, pay for my kit if there is a kit required? How do I support myself while at college? Am I entitled to EMA? Our funding department can give you help and advice on all of those things. OK. Um, so safeguarding. OK, safeguarding at the college is huge important to us. We want all the learners that come to the college to feel safe, to feel as if they can come to college and they feel part of the community. And I'm really pleased to say that in a recent learner survey that we did, 97% of all our learners said they felt really safe at the college. And that's really, really important to us, OK? So we have safeguarding officers that can help you with any concerns that you have about your safety or your friend's safety whilst at the college. We have an additional learning needs um, department, um, which we like to call our neurodiversity department. And for students with any additional learning needs, this is what's available for you. All different kinds of support, OK? The best time to let us know is at the application stage when you fill out your enrolment form. And the quicker that we get that, the quicker we can provide you with transition support from school to college. Or indeed, if you do write it on your enrolment form, we can pick that up and start getting your support in place for you, with you, OK? So if you have a statement or an individual development plan and you let us know as soon as possible, there is a space available. It'll prompt you on the enrollment form to fill that in. Um, if you do at any time, you can come in and talk to us and we will support you um, with any kind of application or further advice on support. OK. So the range of things available, we have counselling available. Counselling is covered five days a week for learners and you can do that directly um, or you can do that through your personal tutor. As Nikki mentioned earlier, you have a personal tutor. So we need um, to make sure that you've got all that information and we do that right up front. So counselling is really, really important for us and is open to you. So we suggest that you take that on board. And um, we also have something called Together All. It's a 24-7, 365 days of the year website that is available to all, all learners at Gower College Swansea. It's completely anonymous and it's run by professionals that can give you all sorts of advice. There are also communities on there where you can discuss any feelings of things like anxiety, or depression or mental health issues with people who are maybe feeling the same as you, but you obviously don't reveal your um, your personal information. It is anonymous. So there's that available to you. We have an Oxbridge programme available at the college. Um, it tends to be taken up by our A-level learners in the main on our Gosain and campus. And it really is for learners that are thinking of maybe going to Oxford, Cambridge, or in particular, Russell Group universities. But for all our learners, whatever your successful destination is, we can help you to get there. And I think Kieran mentioned to you earlier that we have got some really superb success stories of learners that have studied with us at Floyna Bryn and gone on to do the very best courses. Um, when I was down at Floyna Bryn last week, a learner came back, well, one of our alumni, um, who had, had won a competition with us and has gone on to do superb things in her career. 
um, and training and she's now coming back and sharing that with our learners so we can see that full circle of how well learners have done and what they go on to do. One of the other areas we have is a very fantastic library facility at the Lloyd Bryn campus that Keenan mentioned to you. But any of our libraries on any of our campuses are open to you as a learner at Gower College Swansea, as well as facilities across the college like hair and beauty facilities. We have a public sports centre. We have our own rest training restaurant, the Vanilla Pod, and all these things are open to you as learners, whether you're at the Flynn campus, Sinan, Jubilee Court, or T Cork. Okay. We have student support officers and advisors. Our students' physical and mental well-being is really paramount to us at the college. We have a number of services available to you while studying with us including access to two student health advisors who are qualified nurses along with our student support officers and all of these staff come with a wealth of professional experience within different social and health professions and we're delighted learners really benefit from their expertise. Student life is a big part of your time at college. You're a young person that's developing um, holistically, not just in your academic studies, but in all areas of your life. So with that in mind, we have a variety of initiatives you can get involved in as Gower College Swansea Active, also known as GCS Active. It's our enrichment programme, enterprise, fundraising activities such as our Kenya project and the Student Council. Um, I really want to mention there our uh, sport academies as well. A number of learners from across the college will study with us, but will also take part in one of our academies. Um, and some of the academies we have are rugby, football, netball, surfing. So there's lots of things you can get involved with there. There really is a vast range of extracurricular opportunities to explore, all of which can be found on our website and many of them can be accessed remotely as well. So I want to talk to you a little bit about our student union. We have a student union president um, who is elected by learners at the college. At the, at the moment, her name is Maria Pollard and she runs the Student Union Management Group. The role of the Student Union Management Group is to represent the students by departments. So they will take any feedback from the class representatives and, prevent, and present them during the monthly management group meetings to senior managers and managers, and they make sure that the voice of the learners is heard. They all have a voice and help shape the future of the college, um, along with the student union president support. Just to talk to you a little bit more about GCS Active, GCS Active holds lots of physical and mental well-being activities to students, regardless of your background or ability. Its true purpose is to enrich all of our learners' physical and mental well-being. GCS Active primarily works through the traditional tutorial system, but we also um, work on improving extracurricular activities and offering external trips. So, for example, some of the things you can get involved with outside of your studies is if you fancy taking a yoga class, we can put those on for you. Taking a virtual reality headset for a spin, not a problem, we can do that. A game of basketball, no problem at all. All you need to do is get in touch with our GCS, GCS Active Coordinator and they'll be happy to arrange that for you. And we will give you more details about that right the way from the time that you enrol with us and during your induction programme. Alongside these activities, our activity leader continually provides information to all learners on how to stay healthy on the college's 
GitHub, which as a learner you will have access to um, and it's a hub with lots of mindfulness videos, yoga demonstration, a host of workouts you can perform from the comfort of your own home. The, the hub is updated frequently with new activities being added constantly. So for example this month, Veganuary, I think I'm saying that right, obviously it's a month where people are promoting um, vegan eating and there's lots of recipes and cooking demonstrations on there that are really easy to follow and help you get into a nice balanced um nutritious um being able to feed yourselves you know in a nutritious way last of all i want to mention our clubs and societies these are clubs and societies that are for learners run by learners with the support of the student union president at the moment we've got 10 running across the college and um, we're always looking to try new things so we actively encourage student-led clubs and societies so for example if you want to go climbing but don't have anyone to go with you can start your own club with our support. If you want to start a book or a gaming club, no problem. It doesn't have to be a sporting club. We have chess club, we have LGBTQ plus society, Welsh language, culture societies, um, and much, much more. Anything you fancy and you would like to set up, we can support you with doing that. School or society is a fantastic way to make meet like-minded people and make some new friends. It can also be valuable transferable skills for future employment, especially if you decide to take a leading role or part in the running of the group. So don't forget we have a live chat room running in the student support chapter of our virtual experience. So if you have any questions, I'm gonna take a little look now. Let's have a look, live Q and A. Is food and drink available on site? Yes, it is. Um, we have, as Karen Kieran mentioned earlier, we have something called the Brin Cafe, caters for a wide range of tastes because we it's a very diverse campus with very di people with, from very diverse backgrounds. So we really do offer a diverse menu, and it really is very very good. I eat there myself a couple of times every week. It's very very good. So yes, we do. Seeing if there are any more. There are no new questions at the moment. Um, if there are any other questions, it doesn't have to be about support. It can be about um, curriculum or the college in general. Um, we do try to cover quite a bit, so you may not have any burning to ask at the moment. Um, but if you do, I'm happy to help you with that. OK, nothing at the moment. My colleagues are still there in the background as well. So if there's anything you'd like, oh, hang on a minute. Got another one. Which course will be best to take if I'm trying to build a portfolio for tattoo apprenticeships? Ah, hang on a minute. That's been replied to earlier, hasn't it? I think Kieran mentioned that we've had learners do our foundation art um, and they've gone on to be very successful in tattoo apprenticeships. So I think that one has already been answered. Can can you apply to the student union? Yes, you can. Thank you for that. We do run a really successful student union and we've got things like the totem card where you can get money off in places like um, Topshop and um, warehouses and all these sort of um, clothing stores, cinema, that kind of thing. So it comes with all sorts of benefits. Um, but we do encourage everyone to join our student union and take part in things like student council and learner voice. So yes, please do. But when you start at the beginning of the academic year, we will give you all this information. So, you know, don't worry if you don't take it all in now. There's plenty of time and we will sort of drip feed it to you because we realise it can be a little bit overwhelming. Someone's asking if they can swap course, um, but at the moment the other, hang on, student union president role alongside my studies if I want to do it. Um, we have one student union president, um, Johnny, that we um, that we have at the college. It is a paid role, so anyone is open to apply for that role, and no one is in the role for more than two years. So, if you are a student with us, I would suggest that you become a class lead, class representative, or you actually join the student union management 
but that will set you in good stead to try and be elected to be a student union president. That role isn't chosen by me, it's chosen by you, the learners. OK, so it is a paid role um, and you are part, very much part of the staff team. Do you have sports that you can take part in? Absolutely, yes, I mentioned some of the academies earlier, um, like rugby, football, netball, hockey, sometimes depends on what the landscape will whether we run hockey surfing we've got those on offer um for people that are particularly interested in those areas but if it's something you just fancy you fancy like a kick around five side football or you fancy doing something um just for a bit of exercise and fun our gcs active person can actually put that on for you and, and, and we can do it to suit all levels of ability so yes the answer to that is we do have sports you can take part in Let's see if there's anything else can i still apply if i'm in can i still apply if i'm in sixth form right now but i'm looking to move um <sighs> I would say never say never. We could we definitely talk you through where you're at at the moment and where you see yourself going. I think the best thing to do is to contact our admissions department and we can put that information up for you. And um, the best thing to do is to talk through with someone. It is quite late in the day now, if I'm really honest, um, for you to join anything, but it's certainly not too late to apply to join in September. I think the reason for that is a lot of the course, uh, the learners on the courses have gelled, they're into their um, scheme of learning, they know where they're heading and they might be slightly imbalanced with what you've done at school. So bear that in mind, but I would say never say never, let's, let's have an individual talk to you about that. Is it easy to make friends? Absolutely it is. And I think what's really nice about college is when you apply to do a course for your forthcoming career, you are actually with people who are very like minded. So you've already got that in common, which is really nice. Um, and as I mentioned, the Lundabring campus is just so nurturing. It's such a lovely family atmosphere, which I think Nikki mentioned earlier. It really is lovely. And I would say if you do have trouble making friends we do have support in those kinds of areas and there's people we can sort of buddy you up with so please don't worry about that what if i want to do a course that are on different, what if i wanted to do courses that are on different sites is this possible um when you come to us to do a course the, the course that you do is usually on one site i would say nearly always on one site you wouldn't need to move around the campus so depending on what it is that you're thinking of you would need to move around although you may want to use the facilities on the other campus and as a as a learner at Gower College Swansea with your land you know, get your ID you would be able to do that okay you would be able to use other facilities and, and be able to do that um, so I've just answered the last one. What if, what if I want to do courses that are on different sites? My daughter is not sure what to do. Any advice? Um, just to really repeat what Nikki said earlier. Um, they say, don't they, that, um, if you find a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Um, I would say go with your passion, first of all, and your interests. What are you good at? What do you enjoy in school? Really think those things through, and that can help you to think, well, what direction would I like to go? So if you tell us at the admission stage and it's your advice and guidance and debut stage, what it is that you enjoy, we can give you some ideas of what pathways and what careers may interest you. So you've got a little selection to think about, but definitely go for something you're passionate about and you really enjoy. And I think that's half the battle then, OK? Was the college during the pandemic and how did you support the learners then? Yes, we're very much a face to face college. So I think you'll find that for most of the time during the pandemic, we have been face to face with some remote learning. OK, um, there was one period within the pandemic that we were um, I think it was for um, a short period in one term that we were working completely remotely. And we really did adapt um, the way that we did our lessons for whole groups. And, and, and just recently, overall, 
mainly face to face with some remote learning but we are very much a face to face college and that's what we really aim to do but of course it depends on the pandemic situation okay okay oh hang on is it full time on site or do we work from home at times um you do work from home it's a little bit different to school in that regard because you tend to be in college three to four days okay so three to four days um but when we are fully face to face we encourage people to work in the library if there is any downtime in your off timetable we suggest you take part in a club a society um, so you're really using your time or you study on the day off you may have you may wish to take up a part-time job um, and we've got a department that can help you with that called better jobs better futures so we've got our own employability hub so if you're looking for part-time work they can very much support you there at the moment that's running um so it's a little bit different to school whereas you traditionally do perhaps nine till three nine till half past three for example if you're a second year hairdressing learner you may possibly do a twilight session because that's what you would be expected to do in industry so we're very much trained learners for a career OK, it's very career driven rather than course driven. And I know that at Florina Britain campus, they really do encourage you to go on to your career. Um, but the timetables tend to be over, I would say, three to four days. Is there anything else? Let's have a look. OK, well, th there's nothing there at the moment. Um, it was lovely talking to you. All my colleagues are still here. We're happy to still take questions um, online. And if you've got any more direct questions, please let us know. Um, as Nikki and Kieran said earlier, uh, our admissions department are open and taking live applications at the moment. And I know they're going to put that up on the screen for you so you can see exactly what you have to do. Um, you will be invited in. We are planning on doing face to face advice and guidance stroke interview sessions this year um, if you are coming in for a, any kind of interview or advice and guidance and you're invited in please don't forget maybe bring a portfolio with you particularly for art and design to show some of the work that you've done and what you're interested in really think about selling yourself for the interview and also as well as I said it really is a two-way thing so we will tell you what's expected of you when you ask us about what we provide for you so so you know please take up that offer and as Nikki said to Julia the sooner that you do that the better to secure your place at the college and you can apply for more than one course so if you're interested in other things you know other, other courses other careers please let us know so um I think that now um one of my colleagues on the line now is going to be posting how to do that on here and it's also on our website as well okay right oh um thank you very much for listening and i really look forward to seeing some of you in the very near future thank you very much do you come a mean or session hall yak at also scan a crag or a question now the link or link are the only mean or a stiff South Scorsio, the e Bostroch marketing at gcs.ac.uk. Thank you for joining our QA session this evening. If you have any more questions, please follow the link on this page, which will take you to our chat rooms. Alternatively, email marketing at gcs.ac.uk. Jochen Vowed, many thanks. <laughs>